Multi-generational housing. What is that? And is it the solution that you might be looking for? So before we get into all that, please like, comment, subscribe, subscribe, share. It really helps grow the channel and get exposure for these options around Wichita, real estate, and just the local guy that's really uh, trying to make it be involved in the community around real estate and help people with the modern problems I have with modern solutions. So today I'm going to be talking about multi-generational housing. So I'm going to get into screen sharing to kind of show you visually what's going on with that. And I need to set my timer so I don't flap my jaws too long because there's always that consideration too. Um, so anyway, generational, multi-generational housing is basically where you have two adult generations uh, living together. And that could be, uh, let's see, two adult generations living together. This could include siblings, parents, and even grandparents. And it allows people to purchase a much larger home that they couldn't afford on their own by combining the leveraged income, credit, and down payment for those that will be occupying the home with. So there's kind of two different ways I'm seeing this come about. So it's older parents that are trying to help their kids get established. And sometimes they gift them a down payment to get them going. Sometimes they buy a house together on everything because the older grandparents want to see their kids have a home and also they want to see their grandkids and that's a big benefit of this is having combined like households that have in-home health care or uh, daycare on everything watching the kids and it actually kind of applies both ways so it's not just the grandparents helping take care of the kid it's also as these grandparents get older you know they're going to need care too and so it can be both ways as far as who needs the care is it the kids kids or is it the kids taking care of parents and some of these older parents may have to go to assisted living centers assisted living facilities or they could just buy a house together uh, move your mom your dad whoever it is in with you to not only live with you help with the financial piece of it but also help with the kids and everything else comes around that plus you get to have them around more so all of those combined reasons beyond just the financial piece of it really make this a potentially um, appetizing solution for you if you're looking at combining households. Um, the other one we've seen too is like selling two houses and buying one. We've seen that be a common trend too um, on everything. So just with all this equity that a good amount of the um, parents and grandparents have within the current economy, there's solutions that can come from that. Whether that's assisting your kids with the down payment, buying a house together with your kids, and the benefit of it goes both ways of both the grandparents can help watch the kids while the kids are out, you know, making money, doing their career, whatever that has you. Plus, it keeps the grandparents occupied, um, you know, not feeling quite so alone, that kind of thing, having their kids around and their grandkids around, you know, just helps um, bring about that sense of community and belonging and togetherness that we all do love as humans. Plus, from a financial standpoint, pooling resources financially you know, is enables you to get a bigger house, enables you to get a house that works, and then obviously all the appreciation gain uh, that comes with that too. So it's not all just first time buyers or repeat buyers. You know, everybody's situation is unique and you can kind of decide for yourself which one could be best for you. Obviously you got to have a thorough discussion with, you know, everybody involved that this is something that they can really commit to for at least three to five years. Cause this isn't like a rental where you can bounce in a year or two and um, not necessarily see any type of financial harm or repercussions or things like that because houses are more of a three to five year commitment, more of a five to 10 year commitment if you're building because um, there's one gentleman we're going to build a house right now and his mother lives with him. And so we're taking all that into consideration with the house that we're building on everything. So, you know, that's definitely something to take into account. But about 28% of them are first time buyers. Um, 11% of repeat buyers, and they said the reasons for that is cost savings. The other reason for first-time buyers and repeat buyers is one of the larger home, multiple incomes could afford together. Because as you start to pool your resources together from um, wherever your variable income sources are, um, you, know, you can start to get approved for more, buy more, get more house, that kind of thing. And with the interest rates getting higher, things are just getting more expensive and costing more. So pooling your resources, collaborating, getting together, is a good way to do it. So it's easier to take care of loved ones, both your older grandparents and your younger babies. 
Um, obviously, greater financial flexibility to achieve goals, more quality time built in at home childcare. Um, you know, this is definitely what we're seeing is a modern solution to modern problems. Just kind of have got to have the discussion with you personally of like the house that either maybe like your parents own or grandparents own and, you know, putting together solutions, all the moving parts of the puzzle, the moving pieces of the puzzle. And, you know, that's where good agents, good strategists that understand the problems of the market and people's dynamics and come up with all of these strategies, plans, things like that. Cause really being a good agent's about strategy more than it is about like a sales tactic or pushing or forcing people into things It's quality plans, quality strategy, quality insight, helping you make a decision this way or that way. And it's not a forceful pushy way. It's just coming up with solutions like this to be like, maybe this works for you guys based on the problems you're having with affordability being harder and being concerned about you know your mom or your dad living at home by themselves type of thing because we're seeing more and more of that of um, single individuals owning homes living in them and being like why do i have this big house or why do i have this house or i'm alone at home and yes i have equity yes i have wealth and the house is a good investment but i kind of lonely kind of isolated and we're seeing that from humans across the board so one of the solutions to that is a multi-generational home on everything and that could be the solution that you're looking for. So just kind of as a recap, the benefits to multi-generational living, easier to take care of your loved ones, both young and old, more quality time around family. Because at the end of the day, we're mar- we're navigating the market, interest rates, all these financial things, but really people buy and sell houses based on life reasons. You know, and that's usually births, um, that's usually deaths, marriages, divorces, financial hardship, financial you know gain, and combined resources. So you kind of got to take all that into account that really when you buy a home, it's more than just the market, the interest rates, all that. We definitely need to take all that into account, navigate that well. But at the end of the day, it's these non-financial reasons, typically why people are buying and selling their homes and having someone that cares, that understands that, helps put together a plan with all those things together. What I've seen a lot of times, it's actually easier and better to do with a professional stranger who doesn't know you, doesn't know anyone you know, and you can have this safe space where you can talk and help me. I can help you to sort through all of these social pieces of this real estate transaction, not just the financial mental pieces of it all, but also the social aspects of considering everyone and everything that you're looking to do with this transaction in this move, whether that is actually taking that step forward or not on everything. So, um, and then the built-in at-home childcare, I would also say built-in at home um grandparent care whatever you want to call that assisted living care whether that be just you're there watching them or you have someone come over to help take care of their pt work nurse work anything like that you know just having your loved one around and not at an assisted living center or facility or feel like they got put in a home type of thing can be a better situation for them you know if you're comfortable with that and you have a close enough relationship with your parents or your grandparents or whoever it is that you're looking to take care of. So it goes both ways on that uh, people care side of things. So anyway, that could be a solution for you is multi-generational, multi-generational housing. We're seeing a lot more of that trend pick up from a lot of different reasons, from not just a financial standpoint, but also just a personal social standpoint uh, too for a lot of people. So if that's something you'd like to explore and discuss further about your exact situation where you can look at your house, your income, your finances, all that from a professional stranger standpoint where you don't know me, I don't know you. That's kind of the beauty of this, that you can have a safe space where you can literally tell me everything you're thinking and feeling and it's not gonna get out there to everyone um, and play the gossip mill and all those kind of things. You have that client confidentiality of me not spilling the beans to everyone you know about your personal life situations and helping you navigate these big life transitions and also the real estate financial side of things is kind of where we come in at as agents. So if that interests you, shoot me a message. Uh, if you want to learn more about real estate in Wichita, check out my other videos. But I look forward to hopefully hearing from you soon and we'll go from there. See ya.